So as you all can see the title up here, Cleaning the Sheath of Difficult Horses, um, and there'll be two horses in this video that we're going to be looking at. I don't want to pay any disrespect to Dr. Tucker. We follow his amazing nutritional plan, and he is a world-renowned vet, um, nutrition specialist, and equine dentist. And, you know, he's just, he's got some great things out there. But this video was sent to me by one of my students, and it just astounded me. It horrified me. It horrified me on so many levels. I had to bring it to everyone's awareness, not to mention that so many people struggle to clean their horses' sheaths in private areas, um, their mares' udders. They either don't know how and they hire um, vets to come out and sedate the horse, or the horse is really uncomfortable with you touching them. And so I was going to make a video about this you know, sooner or later, but then when I saw this video, um, it's horrifying. And, you know, again, he's going to point out that these are both difficult horses with the second horse in this video, um, the most difficult, and the horse ends up being put down because of his behavior. So this is just unnecessary and absolutely uncalled for. Welcome back. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm Caroline. Welcome back to Everything Horses and More video channel on YouTube. So as I mentioned the first part of the new year, we are doing a new series this year, and we really look forward to your feedback and your comments on it. And our new series is Training Success in Five Minutes or Less. <laughs> Hi, Leigh. If you're looking for a training approach that is spiritually driven and one that will help you become more attuned, tuned in, and one with your horse, you're at the best place. This new series is about creating a win-win for both you and your horse. And it's dedicated to helping you create the opportunity and the moment where understanding, learning, and working together happens. This doesn't mean we will achieve the goal in five minutes or less either. Rather, we are learning how to create the steps to achieving the goal. We all want to learn how to slow down, be in the moment, and yet our environment and our cultural conditioning does little to teach us or support us. So if you're looking for quick tips, fixes, and solutions, don't bother watching my videos. As the saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day. This is to remind us of the time needed to create something great, and that greatness is about the relationship you share with your horse. Nothing should get in the way of it, and everything should support it. I hope you enjoy, and please share, and help us build our revolution in horse care, handling, training, riding, and problem solving. So today's video title is called Horse Dies from Sheath Cleaning? how to prevent this. This is a snippet of the full length video that you can find as a subscriber to my Everything Horses and More video library. All right, so let's play the video. I am gonna be stopping it often to talk a little bit and I may not play it all the way through. I think it's about six minutes long. Dr. Tucker is using, I don't know if it's cold or warm water, but a bar of soap and cotton. So wrong, wrong, wrong. I would never use a bar of soap and I would never use cotton because they're both very harsh, very rough, and very abrasive. And he even mentions that, that he should have been using something else. You can use anything from palm olive or Dawn dish detergent, and you can use either cold or warm water. You can use your hand, make sure your fingernails are trimmed, and you could use a soft cloth or a soft round sponge. Every horse is, a, is an individual. You've got to work with their temperament, their sensitivity level, both skin and personality. You know, how sensitive their skin is, how sensitive their personality. You have to earn the right to be there and that horse's respect. You've got to earn it. Not to mention, I would not cross tie. So that goes against what he advocates. I would have someone tie or someone hold your horse or 
you know, in my case, my horses are at liberty when I do this. So I work to get to the point where I have enough trust and connection with my horse that we can be at liberty. That's the number one thing. The number one word here is trust. So you want to replace fear, anticipation, dread, anxiety, tension with your horses enjoying it because it feels good. And when your horses understand how important it is to clean their private areas, because if you don't, they end up getting beans that get in the way of of their ability to urinate. It's uncomfortable for them, both females and males, not to mention it itches like crazy. So this all has to change. This is why we're a revolution. This has to change. This mindset, this traditional, the way we handle horses, I mean, it makes me sick. This is what makes me angry with our professionals out there who are an advocate. That's clearly what he says he is, an advocate. I want you guys to look at how this horse shivers when he touches him. So just watch when he puts his hand on the horse's belly. It goes to shake him off like a fly. Right there. Now the tail is, that's good, right there is good. But right there, I mean Jeff is just jamming his hand up into that horse, right there. That horse is telling him that this hurts. But when you listen to Jeff's, and we're going to provide the link to Jeff Tucker's video, he's, remember, the title of this is Difficult Horses. He doesn't care about his approach at all. Now I'm going to start fast forwarding this, and you all need to listen to his video. Look at this. This is just awful as he's jamming his finger up there inside that horse's penis. I mean, this, I, I, I'm just blown away. I'm so disgusted with this. It should never be this way. That poor horse, he's so lucky that horse has a nice temperament um, and, and possibly very nice handling um, to make that horse tolerate what he's doing. All right, now let's back this up. Let's listen a little bit. Let's just turn the volume on. And that job is done. This horse has always been a difficult horse to work on. You can see here, I, this is my first attempt to start to... So he just, he says, this horse has always been a difficult horse um, to work on. And as you can see, my first attempt, and this horse is already more aggressive. Why are you even going about it like this? Look at this poor horse. He's totally different than the other one. He's just as miserable and just as stressed out in anticipating what's going to happen. See, most of these professionals, including Dr. Tucker, are talking about this as if it's just a damn job that has to get done. And who cares how the horse feels about this? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, that's just disgusting. You know, this, this is your typical doctor who has no bedside manner. He's rough. He's to the point. Lack of sensitivity completely, especially in this situation, total lack of sensitivity um, and very mechanical. It's too bad. This horse still does not want anything to do with me. You'll see these kicks get more aggressive. He's lucky that this horse didn't swing his ass around and double barrel kick him in the face. Well, I mean, it blows my mind how we revere these horses. This horse could have killed him. This horse is trying. He's trying to tell you, asshole, that it hurts. Let me see if the beginning of this, if I keep the uh, audio on, um, I know in the description of this video, he talks about how the paint horse gets euthanized. So let's see here if he talks about it in the beginning. In this video, I'm going to be cleaning the sheath of two horses. The first one I'm going to call difficult, and the second one I'm going to call impossible. So in this one, you see me tearing hand. All right. That's enough of that. So now we're going to move on to watching me clean two of my horse's privates. So I'm going to show you all what it's like to work with four horses at Liberty, two mares and two geldings. All right, so I'm going to start with Sundance. So again, we're always focusing on how to find success in five minutes or less. How to find success. So all of, three out of these four horses are very um, seasoned, so to speak. They have a ton of experience with um, their privates getting cleaned. 
but when I get to the young horse of mine, this will be the second time I've touched his privates. So I'll be able to show you guys how I approach. Um, of course, my young horse has a relationship with me. That's number one. And that's the same approach I'm trying to teach you guys. All right, so this is my mare. I write, the camera can show. I've got a small bucket half full of warm water because it is chilly out here. It is cold if it was summertime. Um, the water might be a little cold for them even then, believe it or not. So I'm all about making the water as comfortable as possible for them. And I just have a, an old rag. It's pretty soft, but it has a little bit of an abrasion. And I'm just using palm olive. You can use palm olive or Dawn dish detergent. <laughs> So this is really cute. <laughs> I got up and Sundance moved closer to me to get this done. So I'm right-handed. Um, it's just more comfortable for me. So right now I'm gonna, I've got fingernails, so I'm just gonna ball this up. So yeah, having this level of communication is really important, you guys. So again, it's real sudsy, it's warm. It's not hot, it's just warm. It's balled up. I'm gonna kind of put my, I'm gonna feel her first. So what do I do? I know my girl. I'm not just gonna jab myself <laughs> up there. So I'm gonna just get it wet. I'm not gonna try and clean it right now. I'm just gonna get it wet. And as you saw in the previous video with Dr. Tucker, if your horse is uncomfortable, they're gonna be dancing around. So mares um, also can get beans, like uh, geldings and stallions, where they get the wax built up in their, their vagina. Um, I'm not gonna get into all of that today because you have to be really careful and go into the folds and feel around just like you would have to go inside the urethra of the penis and feel around for the bean. Um, she's got barbed wire scars. That's what you see here. So she's a little torn. Thank you, Bips. Next. Come here, Lele. So Legend's going to be very interesting. He's, what, 29 this year? Um, he hates this. He hates it. Every horse is so unique and their personalities, their sensitivity level, and God knows Legend and I have probably the best relationship. It wasn't about that. So, there, I'm coming. You got a little bit, oh yeah, you got some wax up, up on top. So now I'm gonna go in with my ball, my wadded up rag, and just kinda, I stuck it in there. Stuck it in there to just lube it up. In the beginning, you guys, even if you have a great relationship, it's sensitivity, it hurts. They're, they have to get used to this. Doing it more and more and more and talking to them too and saying, look, dude, you can't kick me. You're gonna have to, I'll go as gentle as I can, figure out what works best for you, but you gotta help me. So show the baby, this is how they learn. I like to do with a more seasoned horse, an older horse. If I, this is how I introduced the baby when he was half that size and eight months old. When I approached Blue to clean his sheath two or three days ago, he offered it. He offered it because I was cleaning her at Liberty and she was backing into me and so relaxed and enjoying it like legend. And he was smelling and curious. And then he gave me his butt. That's the way it should be. He has an experience. And look at how I'm introducing, keeping my eye on him. He is a kicker. He's used to all of this. So what would success be in five minutes or less? See, would they like it? They're gonna drop their head. It's gonna be enjoyable. And so right here is five minutes or less of success. And if this is as far as you get, it's all you need, right? Look at how, look at Blue's face. Look at how relaxed he is. To me, it's so different than the way you raise your children, your dog, your cat. Do you just hit them when they do something wrong or yell at them? Make them feel horrible about you, the experience, the relationship? No. Why should I treat him any different? He's an intelligent, sentient being. You could do this every day. Every day you groom your horse, spend five minutes working on your horse being able to accept you and tolerate you. A little bit of this is tolerating. There's that level of discipline. Make sure it's enjoyable. Make sure you create relaxation and endorphin. I'm scratching them now. It has nothing to do with sheath cleaning. So to sum up what I did, I'm gonna give you three areas to focus on when creating success with your horse in five minutes or less. And success today is about trust. Number one, don't tie them. 
either hold them, ground tie, or loosely tie so that they can move and especially see what you are doing and be engaged. So that means you pay attention. And if they're looking at you and turning around, then let them smell your hands. Let them see what you're doing. Reassure them. Number two, introduce the product first or next. Allow them to see it, smell it, become curious and before you start applying it. And number three, introduce the touch. So that means take your time getting to that private area. You know, scratch them, rub them, do the things that they enjoy and then take it to that area. So that you're introducing a positive experience throughout all of this, including the horses that don't have a positive experience, the ones that aren't sure. And it doesn't mean you have to touch their genitals. You could stop at the belly when you notice that they're pinning a little bit um, and they're not so sure. The key here is don't force this to happen. It doesn't have to be that way. And the more you create trust, the easier this is gonna be and the more natural and organic of a process. And then don't quit until they're happy and relaxed. So that means if you're halfway to the genitals and your horse starts to pin and tense up, stop, reassure them and see if you can't get back to that same place that you stopped at on a positive note and quit. The key here is consistency and repetition and creating positive associations and experiences. And before you know it, in five days, 10 days, your horse is gonna love it. Thank you. May you always be one with your horse.